Tom and Lawrence Yorkfield are brothers. Half-brothers, actually. Their father was really the only thing they had in common. Beyond this, they couldn't be more incompatible. You see, Tom is a farmer. He inherited Helsery Farm and raises cows, sheep, and chickens. It is a moderate farm, by no means extravagant. It is successful enough to grant Tom a comfortable, hard-working life. I get up for the sun come up. Lawrence used a little bit of money he received from his mother and moved out to the city. Country life did not agree with him. He began painting and has become quite successful at it. He specializes in painting farm animals. When I paint, I bring the animal to life. Living on the farm, grazing and sleeping all day, this is no kind of way to live. I make the animals immortal through my art. The two brothers didn't hate each other. They were really just indifferent. Neither one had any desire to be with the other. Still, one day, Lawrence paid Tom a visit. I have a prized bull specimen I named Clover Fairy. He is the best looking bull you'll see in all of England. Lawrence is quite condescending about the farm. He is more interested in a clump of yellow weeds than the impressive potato crop Tom is growing. Lawrence didn't seem too interested in the family farm, but I figured he'd be impressed by Clover Fairy for sure. In actuality, Lawrence is underwhelmed by Clover Fairy. This is just a bull, not nearly as impressive as the painting I'd done of a Hereford. Then Lawrence tells me that he sold his ugly painting of a Hereford bull standing in some mud for 300 pounds. I figured when the market is at its best, I couldn't get more than 100 pounds for Clover Fairy. I was so mad, I just about blew my top. Just then, perhaps playfully, perhaps because it could somehow read Tom Yorkfield's mind, Clover Fairy rushes at Lawrence and picks him up by his horns and throws him through the air, leaving Lawrence badly injured. That bull broke three of my ribs. I may not be able to paint again for months. The pain is almost unbearable. Oh, I don't know what got into Clover. I think it's awful what happened to my half-brother. Although, it is a little funny that my 100-pound bull could whoop a guy who paints 300-pound works of art. This just goes to show that the value of art isn't very practical when it's compared to the necessities of life.